the surprise I came up with. You're not going to like it, Chris. It's too long. Monopoly's been bringing people together for almost 50 years. That's how long we've been wheeling and dealing together, building hotels together, and going to jail together. Parker Brothers kind of fun. Wow. Brings people together. That's right. We're going to talk about Monopoly, uh, the uh, granddaddy of all board games. Whenever you tell people, uh, I know you can relate with this if you're in the hobby at all. Anytime you tell a friend or a family member, hey, you want to try these board games? I'm into, oh, oh, Monopoly then. And, uh, no, no, not Monopoly. But today we're going to talk about Monopoly. Um, and so I'm going to give everybody the chance to uh, give their spiel and, and tell, the, uh, tell me their pros and cons about Monopoly. Is it a great game? Is it worthy of the great game debate? Well... I will tell you, I will start by telling you, no, it is not. It is not <laughs> worth it. What? Uh, I have some fond memories, but those mostly revolve around, uh, oh, you know. Wait, the should, shouldn't we throw it to a teach first? Yeah. Oh, fine, fine. If anybody needs to learn how to play Monopoly, here you go. Thank you, John, for making sure Andy throws it to us for the teach here. But it's it's me, John, again, along with Daniel. Hi. It's going to show you how to play the classic game of Monopoly. Here you see a board kind of set up the way it would start. You got your little pieces there in the go section. That's where they start. These fun little metal minis brought to you by the people of Monopoly. The original. The metal original mini. metal minis. First thing you need to know is there's properties, as you can see, all around the board. When you land on them, you have a chance to buy them. Um, if you're playing with your dad, dad always starts with Park Place. That is not so, accurate. That is a house rule. Boardwalk. He always starts with boardwalk. No, you start with nothing. And not only do you have a chance to buy them, you have to buy them. And if you don't buy the property, they have to go to auction. So, that means So you every, ship them out? No. That means someone will get to bid on Park Place that Dad gets to start with because he doesn't have enough to, to pay for it. And now I can buy this for two bot dollars if I needed to. Okay, whatever, whatever. Anyway, you start, speaking of money, you start with money. It comes with this good, nice paper money from back in the day, but it comes with all these ones and you just throw those back in the box. You don't use the ones. You round everything up to the nearest five. Absolutely and not. What are you talking about? This is why Monopoly's so bad of all the house rules. You, every dollar counts in this game. If I owe you a dollar, John, you demand that dollar. Don't say, no, 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 I'm gonna round down or round up. No, it's a dollar. You get that dollar. All right, you can be the Scrooge with your dollars. Anyway, the way you, the way the game rules, it also has roll and move technology, That's which right. is awesome. It has two dice, which is awesome because sometimes you roll doubles. You need to roll a lot because you, until you get one lap around the board, you're not allowed to buy anything. Everybody has to do a lap around the board first, and then whatever you land on, you're allowed to buy. Or go to auction. Or go to auction. <laughs> oh, okay. Actually, I thought you were going to correct me on that. But no, that was accurate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but also, when you roll doubles, you get a community chess card. No. And the cool Did thing you about seriously play the that cool way? thing. The cool thing Wait, about the, no, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get that. You have to land on community chess or chance to get these random cards that infuse new cash into the game, or removes cash. In this case, what you really want to do is not play them right away. Like, if it says collect $10, wait wait until you really need it. And then uh, holiday fund matures, wait till somebody's really begging you for money, because then they don't know how much money you have. Or if it tells you to go somewhere, tells you in advance to go, wait till you're about to get down this area here where you're going to pay no, a bunch of rent. You, and re then... you resolve it immediately, John. Monopoly's not a bad game. There's only bad teachers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what do you do with the cards in your hand? You don't have cards in your hand. Oh, you just play okay. the cards. All right, then. Okay, that sounds kind of boring. Some of them you can build houses on. Did you know that? Did you know you can build houses yeah, on these? Yeah. And you build them anytime. That's what's cool. If you you own can, property, actually. We just found that once, out. Once you have a monopoly where you have all of them, you can build a house. Look yep. at that. And you have to build them evenly. Yep. And you can build as many as you want whenever you want. Is there an endless supply? No. You have to have the buildings. If these are the only three buildings left in the game, you can only buy three buildings uh, you have to wait till someone sells their buildings or upgrades to a hotel or goes broke this is the or goes broke Thank this you. is the house uh, strategy it's 40 sounds houses. like a house rule no it's not literally it is not house a house rule. Rule. <laughs> it's the good rule uh, what makes this game work there's other things that you can buy out there though there's also the electric company waterworks wherever that is it's in there somewhere there we go and this is really cool the railroads there's four railroads that you can buy and the more of them that you own, the more rent people pay or to, to use your railroad. And it's cool. If you own all of them, like say you go to Pennsylvania Railroad, 
you can play B and O Railroad and then just go there on your next turn. So nope. that's really cool. <laughs> that's, you can just it's called riding the rails. That is, that you is just, not what that's called. That you can't it's roll and move. That's the only way you're gonna move unless you get a car that says go directly to, to go or go directly to jail, which jail is a good thing in this game because it means you're not landing on people's what? property. Now you think jail is good. Anyway, Jail's let's get great. let's get to the really good parts of the game because sometimes, as you can see, there's this these things where you uh, pay a luxury tax, and there's a lot of times in the cards where it tells you to pay some, but it's not to somebody. It doesn't say pay the bank. It says like you owed money for this, that, or the other. You throw that in the middle, and then look at this: when somebody lands on free parking, kachanga, they get all this money. No, <laughs> no, you do not play with free parking. Free par that, it's that's right, not it's a on thing. the board. Free parking is not a play spot with it? that you go to. Because it means you didn't have to pay for wherever you land. No matter where you land, you have to pay for something usually. Unless it's chance and you might get some money. Free parking is just that free. It's not extra money. That's how you infuse more money into a game that's yes. already taking too long. John, if you don't know how to play this game, then I'm not going to play it with you. This is ridiculous. Just, this is, we're done. <laughs> and we're back. Oh my gosh, thank you. That was so helpful. Um, <laughs> yeah, Monopoly for me was all about remembering the, the only fondness came from like those few minutes that we got along before we started playing as a family because right <laughs> after that it was just pure bitter unadulterated arguments and hatred of each other pretty much and and stealing and hiding things and like i would one of my big secrets is i would take a 500 hundred dollar bill and i would hide it under the board i would do it the very first thing like i knew from a young age when i was six years old i knew i couldn't control myself all the way back then i knew <laughs> I, I, Andy now would learn a lot from six-year-old Andy. I should take all my money and stuff it under the board somewhere and hope I don't find it. But uh, what is it, Chris? I know it's my time, but you're welcome to interrupt. Go ahead. Wait, so you admit as a 40-year-old man that you could learn stuff from your six-year-old self? <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> definitely. He's definitely. lost a lot of knowledge along that. the way. Uh but uh, let me just summarize, guys. Monopoly is, uh, it's fine. The problem is, honestly, house rules have ruined it over the years. If you actually play it according to the rules, it's not bad. It is lengthy for what it is. It's There's better games, obviously, been implemented since. It's fine. I, I, I guess there's some fondness and some uh, what have you for that, but th that's about it. Uh, really, I had more fun playing the McDonald's Monopoly growing up than I did Monopoly <laughs> itself. So there you have it. That's my take on Monopoly. Uh, Daniel, can you speak highly of this game? You know what? I'm going to speak highly about this, more highly than you guys think I should, probably. Um, I actually played this game a couple years ago with our friend uh, Philip Ponzer and his parents. Yes, his parents. And I, on the one condition, I was like, we have to play this game by the rules. And they're like, what do you mean? I was like, no house ruling. We just have to play it. And I got to tell you guys, we actually enjoyed our time with playing this game quite a lot up until the end. When you play this game with a legitimate rule set, it's not half bad. When you land on the property, you have to buy the property. That's one of the biggest things. And if you don't, it goes into auction. So if you land on boardwalk and you don't have 500 bucks, you can, it now goes into auction. And maybe you get boardwalk for $200 instead. That's a great game. Like that's really fun when you can actually negotiate and, and, uh, and bid on this. The other part that is often, um, really uh well there's two things it's the free parking free parking is just a spot that you don't pay anything for it's a you you land there and you go oh thank goodness i'm on free sparking you don't get more money that prolongs the game guys stop doing that but the other thing that you have to do is somebody lands on your property and they uh they don't have the money to pay for you they are a dollar short you're like no you better mortgage that property i want my dollar fool and they're like no no no, but we'll trade no 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 no. that's not how you play it you make them mortgage it, the property so when you land on it you buy that bad boy from them and now you got their dollar and you got their property you don't trade you take everything they got also here's another pro tip you bought you the the houses are limited so buy four houses and don't build the hotel all of a sudden Nobody can build houses anymore. It's like a real monopoly. So this game is really good until you get to the very end. When there's the very end, there's only two people remaining. And then that is when it becomes a little bit more uh, whoever doesn't land on a property first wins. And then you can just end the game. So if they figured out the player elimination of this, monopoly wouldn't be half bad. I'm going to say it. Not half bad. 
You know, what I've learned from your ex explanation here, Daniel, is that you what? would make a really good slum lord, I think. <laughs> well, I'm a like banker, a really... so I'm halfway there. You seem sleazy True. enough. My gosh. <laughs> Give Andy. me that dollar. <laughs> All right. Well, John, what about you? Well, here's the deal. I've always kind of had that same opinion, Daniel, that Monopoly gets a bad rap because so many people don't play it by the rules. But then but then I did try playing it again. And no, it, it doesn't get a bad rap. It's it's really a bad game. But <laughs> but it does have a few redeeming qualities. It Hey, the cool metal minis. Right. Before anybody knew what cool metal minis were, you had cool metal minis and Monopoly. That's sure. pretty neat. Um, but was it, and then you always hear this rumor that it was really the landlord's game and it's supposed to teach you how bad Monopoly is. I've never really understood that segment of it. I mean, you want to win, you want to be the, <laughs> it's, it's going the wrong way if it's trying to teach you the, the ills of capitalism and being a landlord, in my opinion. Um, so I didn't understand the social commentary part. Uh, but then the, I mean, some people also say, well, you know, it kept it at least kept the board game and experience alive, you know, so that there was something to build on for future generations, which I guess is a, a compliment, but it's, it's almost like comparing it to, to like people that lived in the 1300s, you know, it's like, it wasn't much of an existence. I mean, there was petulance and there was disease and there was a 30 <laughs> year lifespan, but at least humanity didn't give up. And we have people today. That's about it. it don't, you don't really want to go back and relive those times, but at least it's survived. You know, we had people that survived to give us the people we have today. That's basically <laughs> the way you're looking at it with monopoly. It board gaming survived by the skin of its teeth so that we could get good games today. Maybe I'll give you that, but you know, yeah, we don't want to go back to the scurvy days. But then, and I always hear people say this thing that you said about the houses, Daniel, and I don't understand this a bit. Because when we would play, uh, okay, so you have to buy so many houses before you can put a hotel on. You just pay for them. You don't have to literally put the houses on. You say, okay, here's money for four houses. Here's money for a hotel. Boom, put a hotel on my... You don't have to sit there. And if you're just buying it all at once, you don't have to sit there and put houses on your mm. property. You can just say... Here's my four money for four houses. Here's my money for my hotel. I don't know. I That's think we what need I've a never rules understood. check on that. I think we need a rules check on that. Rule check. Rule check, please. But anyway, no, it is not a great, great game. As much as I want it to be. The best one that was ever made is this one right here, Monopoly Gamer, that I played with my kids. That's a fun time because it really eschews a lot of the rules of Monopoly and makes it more of like a, a Mario, competition like to acquire Mario these Party, different bosses right? you're defeating bosses and it's really cool so anyway that's what i got nope and Wait, i've actually got just... a shirt that says no not like monopoly just to wear to gaming events because that's what people say oh you play games like monopoly no read the shirt <laughs> john did you no. just did you just say the only thing that made monopoly redeeming at all was the version you have is a, it has a cooperative element to it because that doesn't no. sound like you it does not have a cooperative element. Well, you said you defeat monsters together. Yes. Not together. Separately. Oh, not together. <laughs> yeah, when you pass go, you get to fight one of the Bowser Koopa kids instead. Yeah. Oh, they keep God. getting tougher and tougher as the game goes on. It's pretty good. I cool. see. Okay. Well, let's hear from Chris now, who uh, is the old man of the group and probably, oh, probably loves it. Probably played the thimble every time. <laughs> <laughs> You would be right, sir. No, uh, I, I liked the boot, but actually, what I really liked was we had a, like a really old version of Clue that like lost its pieces, so we threw those in there. So I was always the gun. Oh, yeah. nice! That's cool. So that's real uh, America right there. That's and that's right. what's wrong with today's society, Chris. You ruined us all. Anyway, <laughs> all right. So unlike the rest of these Johnny Come Latelys, I've loved board games since I was like little, little, little. So much so that I, at one point, before I had enough money to buy myself, I asked for a big present of the deluxe edition of Monopoly Ooh. when I was like either, you know, sub 13 uh, for either birthday or Christmas, because that's how much I loved Monopoly, because it was wow. still the best game that I could wrap my mind around. Like risk even for a kid under 10 is confusing if you don't, if you haven't been shown, right? Trying to read the rules, understand that game is actually not even difficult. So uh, so, but Monopoly is much more intuitive, so to speak, right? So we, I loved it. We played it. And so one of the most memorable moments in all of gaming of my entire gaming life is actually playing this game. Uh, when I was in high school towards the end of, uh, like I was like about to like leave of my kind of going away party, go to college. They all, everyone came over to my house and we played this massive game of Monopoly. Now we played it with all the optional roles that you're not supposed to play with. Cause we were just having a good time or whatever. <laughs> Fool. So, free parking, everything, right? Well, then here what happened. We started with an eight-player game, and when the first person was about to be out, they just 
consolidated with one of the people that were still playing, right? So like they, they just <laughs> absolved them. So they were still playing and now they were on the team. So oh my those gosh. two versus the other six, right? <laughs> and then someone else was about to get bought up by that thing. So they joined them, they joined them. So eventually it turned into this giant conglomerate, which really was just actually a single person that had done well, right? <laughs> versus one other person. And the whole time the other person was so frustrated that we kept like, conglo- you know, like go- uh, going together, trying to beat them. We still didn't beat them. That other person won fair and score from the very beginning. And on the best the best part of this entire story, not only are we playing with free parking and all this other craziness, one of the guys was just stealing money. Like, like, <laughs> like, 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 like Andy talked about putting a 500 to the board when the game started. He just, as the game was going on, he put in 100 and take 150. Like, like in, in 20s and stuff like that. He was doing all kinds of like skimming off the top. He said he stole oh like God. at least $8,000 over the course of the game. <laughs> and he, still and he was lost. part of the conglomerate. So <laughs> this other guy just won this unbelievable victory. So, so that sounds fun. And it was great. And it was a great time. I can't remember any other time I played Monopoly and I like, got all like good or bad. And, 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 and we were talking about this before, obviously for set of the show. And I, for a long time, wanted to give the game another shot with the, you know, the correct rules. Like, and like Daniel was talking about, but like, I said it too. I said it too. Okay. Sure. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Didn't mean to say that. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, but I, I still don't like the rule of you have to buy if you land on it. No, like, I think they gotta have be, that rule. Why not? No, it why goes to auction. Go straight to auction. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. If you don't want to buy it, it goes to auction. Oh, I thought you said you were forced to buy it. And if you no, 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 it on. has to be sold. It, oh, sorry, yeah. I, I guess I misspoke. It has to yeah. be sold. So if you don't buy it, it then goes to auction. Yeah, so that actually so, sounds yeah. fine. And then you talked about the houses. Like I think John misunderstood. Some people use the housing strategy. Uh, John, because if you use four houses, there's there's not as many of them in the reserve. Mm-hmm. So you just use houses and fill the board with houses and you're the only one that can have houses because you never actually upgrade to ha- to hotels to put the houses back in circulation. Well, well, well I, I get that. What he's saying, if, if I may, because I'm and John's interpreter, um, and, and that's okay. Paul said it's okay as long as someone who's here to interpret uh, someone <laughs> speaking see. in tongues okay. like John, it's okay. <laughs> So um, I think what John was meaning, what the spirit was moving him to say was, is that you should be able to just jump over building the houses and just build the hotel. And uh, that way, instead of waiting for the houses, you just pay for the houses. That's that's not the way the world works, John. You build houses, then you knock them down to build a hotel. But I'm just saying, even when, that's how you build even when houses were available, when it got your turn and you already had two on there, like, okay, here's money for two houses. Here's money for my hotel. You didn't physically put them on there and then take them off. So. Was, regardless all matter. of that i think stupid bush league and correct it's ex- exactly what da- like uh what uh john is saying in my opinion there should be an infinite stock of houses and hotels like i think it's stupid that there's a limited number in the first place you but- have a monopoly on them and also i gotta say <laughs> you have a monopoly it's on not- the properties not on the no. one you're putting on the property yeah, it's everything and that's where the lesson is learned john it's not the winners that learn it's the losers they're like wow capitalism is rough if there's Chris. monopolies and stuff like that Chris, but Chris. the winner's like hey I, i've made out i'm good you could yeah. you don't just have to have a, a monopoly in property it's monopoly and you could have a monopoly in anything you got, like clearly i have the monopoly in intelligence in this show i mean yeah we prove there that we every show right so correct <laughs> <laughs> daniel's yeah. got it on spelling that's, that's right, right. Yes. i spell all the words what so one quick point of clarification before we wrap this up here yeah. are you allowed to make deals in this game I thought because you were. That's, that's pretty much all ours devolved into was no. like, you can't, I, you don't have to pay me for the next three times nope. that you land on this. Uh, if I you never give went that me far. a half a share that, of, of nope. park place. That's, and that's I what get makes to the last 10 hours. Eat your dessert you tonight. make negotiations. There is, this is not a negotiation game. This is an auction game. So the problem is, is I think we played it too much like diplomacy. So you can't yes. trade properties and stuff? No. Because we used to trade oh, You properties. can't trade properties? No, maybe. Oh, you I thought that properties. was in there. I think you could trade properties, but you yeah, can't I mean, be like, I didn't. Yeah. I, I so real quick. I mean, as the, we hadn't actually talked about this, but I think the four of us again. This is we need to play it, right? Action checks that we haven't <laughs> written here, so to speak. But I do believe that at some point we should try to work on our what we as a, as as the show feel like the definitive rules for a good game of Monopoly are. 
I, I think we need to play written in the book. That's what we, we do. Know, but, but like, for example, right here we had this discussion about like is trading and stuff right good. Like, I think no, it is. Not. If like, like I really want that red one, and you really want the, yeah, the orange one, for example, right? The red one's worth a whole lot more, and you know the value, I know the value, so I pay you the orange one and five hundred. Mm-hmm. And you give me the red one in two hundred, and we call it good, right? Like, yeah. Or you could like, just. I don't think that's actually line. doable. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, but, but what I'm saying, these are the details that I think we need to like iron out to be like these. Actually, are the rules we oh think no, I know that's possible that because that's what I got. That's how I got Philip's mom. I sold her one of my properties so she could have a monopoly, but I made her pay literally a dollar less than the houses, so she couldn't build on it. Like I made uh, sure she had no money. It was. Uh, yeah, anyways, I made sure she had no money, and then when she went to build that, she was like, I don't have enough money. I was like, Philip's mom. Yeah, I did. Yeah, Philip's mom. Awesome. Um, anyway, <laughs> harsh. I think, guys, we've never live-streamed a game with the four of us. I think we have to be, our first live-stream game now has to be Monopoly. Maybe. Okay, I'll agree with that. Our first one will be Monopoly. Just because <laughs> you're like, we're never going to do that, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> it would be highly entertaining, I think. Um, despite the game's questionable quality. Maybe oh, for the you know what else would be entertaining? The rest of the show. That's yes. right. <laughs> Folks, what about you out there? Have you uh, been a fan of Monopoly? Have you ever played Monopoly? <laughs> if you haven't, where where the heck are you from? Iran? Um, I actually have a friend from Iran, and he has not played Monopoly. So... Um, <laughs> What was yeah? What's your point, Daniel? I see your finger oh, up there. I, no, I had somebody I worked with from Guam, and she came, and she's like, "All I want to do is play Monopoly. I've never had to play Monopoly in my entire life." She was, and she was nineteen. So yeah. Anyways, all right. Well, so tell us what you country. think. Tell us what you think about our nonsensical debate here about Monopoly. Uh, maybe we're missing something, and uh, maybe you uh, have all the answers. Please feel free to reach out to us on social media. Please like and subscribe, comment below, and uh, drop us an email if you'd like as well. Uh, mail at aroundtheboard.net. Let's move on. Thank you for watching this clip from Around the Board. If you'd like to watch the full episode, please click on the link down below. Around the Board is essentially a game show featuring four board game enthusiasts that discuss board game topics and news in a competitive format. Whoever wins gets to talk about whatever he wants at the end of the show. So please join us, won't you, Around the Board?